Hey there, Noodle. Hello. Howdy. How are ya? Uh, welcome to Seizure Simulator 2022. Uh, <laughs> anyways. I'm very, very tired. I know. What's new? Uh, there goes my controller. Um, big surprise. I know. But anyways, I'm going to try and stay awake. And we're going to do that by playing some Pioneer's Olive Town, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, that should be fun. Oh, my God. So, anyways, <laughs> we're just going to pick back up. But, warning, before we do get into it, though, um... 304.46. I feel like it would be this one. We probably, like, saved right before we slept or something. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Uh, warning before we get into the game game, though. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, the game in my capture setup don't get along too well. So, like, there's a chance that it's just going to freak out at some point, basically. It's done it. It's, it's uh, certain screens. It's certain screens, and it does it every time. It just freaks out. So, small seizure warning, I suppose. That's all. Uh, I got to remember stuff, like what we were doing and things. Petter Kitty. Hello, Marie. There you go. Enjoy some pettins, dude. You deserve them. Uh, I know we were getting sprinklers for things. It looks like we got a bunch. That's good. A lot of the crops grow interseasonally. I'm assuming these crops here will start to grow now, but regardless, we're going to need our watering can out. This is like our first day of a new season, so that's exciting. Looks like we can only do three at a time. I didn't know if like it had... If we had upgraded again or anything, I couldn't remember. But I guess it says, like, right there in the corner, iron watering can. So, like, I should have known, but, like... Oh. More water, please. Mini tank game. Turn the other way. <laughs> Is a struggle. But it's fine. We're gonna... It doesn't look like we need to buy any new seeds right now or anything. Although, I am curious if any new seeds will be available since it's summertime now. I would assume there would be some, like, summer-specific seeds going on of some kind. Like, right? Like, that would make sense, to me at least. All of our machines are doing their thing. What were we... And these things all go in here. That's easy enough. Then flour and salt. What were we doing with flour and salt? Were we doing anything with flour and salt? I mean, I would think maybe keeping them for cooking. Um, I'm not sure. Though. Wait, do we have a brush? I imagine we do, right? No. Oh, okay. We can just we just magic one out of nowhere. That's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> Do we need to harvest this? We do. Okay, we got some more fodder. That's good. Pet our chickies, too. Hello, Nugget. And what was the other one's name? Is it also food? It was not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, I forgot Chocobo named that one. That's that's what happened there. Good stuff. Uh, there's probably some eggs in here for us, though. Egg. How much money do we have? 15 grand. Is there anything we want to do with 15 grand? Like, do we need to get more? Sure. Make some yogurt with that. Do we need to... What's this? Butter? Have we made butter before? I don't know if this is our first... Oh, wait. We have two cows? <laughs> Where'd we get another cow? Okay. Betsy and Muriel. We'll give Muriel some pettins. Apparently, Muriel doesn't need the other thing brushed we're gonna sell one butter just because I, I don't know if we've sold butter before or not i would think probably but like i don't know man my memory's really bad and it's been a little while uh there's room for those i think what we were trying to do was keep stuff for specific recipes but as much as I want to, like, complete the game, I think I'm just going to give up on most of the recipes and just pick a couple of things 
that I really like and just make those over and over again. So, like, what recipes do we have right now? Preferably, it would be something that's, like, easy to make over and over again, too. But that's, like, good, you know? I feel like potato salad, maybe? Wouldn't be a bad one. Or, you know what? Maybe the lionese potatoes? But you need oregano specifically. Oh, you know what? Kappa, what's up, man? The other thing I remember is there's like a grocery store, right? So maybe we were just gonna do that. And yeah, maybe we just sell like everything, man. Cause what like what bugs me is it doesn't even tell you what you have and haven't made. So even if I did try to make every recipe. I'd have to just, like, keep track of... Oh, wait, no, it does tell you what you've made. I'm an idiot. What was it? There was something that it doesn't tell you that I've really felt like it should. But I can't remember now. Ah! Uh... trying to think, man. I can't. <laughs> uh... Let's go into the fridge. We'll keep, like... I think just anything with a star rating, we won't worry about keeping. Although, like, even the flower has star ratings, which is annoying. We'll keep tea, though, because, I don't know, I like the idea of tea. Oh, well, my inventory's full now. See, like, I want to keep the, the essentials, you know? Like, flour... I guess maybe that's what we do. Like, condiments, the essentials, and things that don't have star ratings. And then as our inventory our, our fridge gets larger and larger then we can try and like keep more stuff maybe or whatever so we'll keep milk yogurt eggs butter well, i guess yogurt's not really an essential and it's pretty easy to make we just take it out to the machine squid's definitely not an essential and then Sure. We'll call that good. Maybe that's how we do stuff. I want to sort this just a little bit, though. It's going to bug me the way that I have it laid out. Dairy. I wish everything didn't have a freaking star rating. <laughs> it makes inventory management impossible. Sure. We'll do that. I mean, and if nothing else, it'll give us more money, I guess. Just selling more crap. Sell, sell, sell all of this stuff, I guess. There. If anybody, like, I'm way behind on uploading things on YouTube, but if anybody watches on YouTube, they're gonna see, like, just a couple of episodes ago, or streams ago, whatever, us, um, like, taking the time to sort all of that stuff perfectly. And then now it's, like, instantly, one or two streams later, we're just, like, destroying it all. My bad, it's been quite a while since I've played in real life. I, I know it hasn't been in video land maybe, but oof, yeah, it's been a while. Hence why I'm struggling so much to remember how anything works. Okay, we're gonna need the scythe. We're gonna need all of the tools actually. We're gonna clean up a little bit while we wait for some time to pass. Okay, we probably won't actually need the hoe. Keep the hoe out anyways, just in case. Why not? Focus first on clearing the main section here. Minus the tree saplings. It still feels wrong breaking down the tree saplings before they've had a chance to grow. So we'll let those do their thing. But we'll get rid of the rest of it. That's not... Okay. What game have I been playing? I, for some reason, I'm using, like, R1, L1. Ooh. 
Oh, unlock the recipe for the suction pump. Okay. It has, it's told us about that before. Like we knew that was a thing, just had no idea how to make it. But anyways, I keep using R1 and L1 to like switch my stuff on my heart hot bar. I can't think like what game I've been playing that does that, but something has me thinking that's how things work. And I'm very clearly wrong. These mushrooms aren't ready yet, are they? No. Kimmy, it is 11 o'clock. Let's go ahead and run up to the general store real quick. Just because I'm curious what, if anything, has changed as far as what we can buy. And I guess we need to take all of these time-worn objects and get them appraised and stuff. And then throw things in the chests. Hey, stream, Olive Town sure is lively these days, huh? We got a bench! Oh, <laughs> we got a new bench! Okay, that's... <laughs> I was like, are we supposed to be excited about this old-looking bench, dude? I think it's because you rolled on into town and built up that farm. Remember that time my old man was all, we'll create lots of discoveries in town, just so you wait. Then I was like, yeah, but who's gonna do all that? And he pointed straight at you. He really believes in you, you know? Oh, my old man, he's hanging out on the hilltop, gazing at the ocean, probably. Hello, old man. Hey, Dad, you see any ships out there? Jacopo, I'm surprised you knew where I was. Today's the day the luxury liner is supposed to be supposed to sail by, so I had a feeling you'd be up here keeping your eyes peeled for it. Hmm, you knew about all that? Duh, there's no way I'd miss out on news that big. Look at the ship, dude. It's such a ship. They might pass us by now, but man, it sure would be nice if we could get a ship like that to dock on our shores. Would it though? Why do we want the town to be like a touristy town, you know? Personally, that's not what I want. I don't, uh, I don't know, whatever. Everybody has their own thing, I guess. We can open about, yeah, we do. We've got someone who can take this town to the next level now. To the next level, you say? And who might that be? I'm talking about me, obviously. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm magic, obviously, bro. Where's this cow come from? <laughs> a cow? What's this strange cow doing here? I'm not a cow, dude. It's me, Lars. Glad this thing's convincing, though. I put my heart into making it. What the hell? Why is Lars in a furry costume? A cow? A persona? Whatever it is. I don't I don't know terminology. Don't mind me. But why does he look like a cow? To show my cow shoot off, of course. Got a problem with that? I guess not. That was the end of it. We don't figure out why he was showing off his cow suit. And I guess he was just really proud of it, which, you know, good on him, honestly. He spent all that time and love making it. He should be proud. Angela, Angela. Is that Angela? I don't remember these people's names. No. Dear me, Angela must be out. That's all right, you'll do just fine. I have some pickles that have been brining for 10 years. Would you like to try them with me, dear? Is that normal to have pickles brining for 10 freaking years? No, I did not. 105 streak. Hell yeah. Good job, dude. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm sidetracked now. Pickles. 10 years. Would you eat some 10 year pickles? Do you want a tea? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I say, I say dude sometimes. My bad. I didn't mean. Oh my God. I'm, t I'm trying to offer you a 10 year pickle. Do you not want the 10 year old pickle? <laughs> <laughs> oh god hold up do you mean me she sure does you're not gonna turn my poor little grandma down are you uh not after you phrase it like that okay now say ah <laughs> eat up now eat up what do you think how do they taste it's uh got a very unique flavor Unique, huh? Nice save there, buddy. Not gonna lie, I'm genuinely afraid of swallowing this. Yeah, yeah, save them all you like, my dear. Might as well try a bite myself. Scrumptious. Ten years makes all the difference. I think of it, I have another jar of pickles in the basement that's been down there for a hundred years. Perhaps I should open those up too while I'm at it. 
Uh, would you look at the time? I totally forgot I had to do some urgent repairs on the boat today, so I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Why, that Emilio's quite the busy bee. Oh god, are they gonna trick me into trying a hundred-year-old pickle? <laughs> I love me some pickles, dude, but I, I don't... Ten years even sounds like a bit long, you know? We do got new seeds. We got... Zucchini? We got pumpkin. We got corn. We got tomatoes. We got red peppers. We got eggplants. There's all kinds of new ones. Holy shit. Green peppers? Okay. So can we afford eight of each of these? Bye. We're just gonna try... We're gonna try to just get eight of each. We're not gonna have enough money, I'm pretty sure. Nope. More. Wait. Oh, our inventory is full. Okay, we might actually have enough space once we clear out some space. We'll come right back. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. I didn't expect there to be like that many new seats, to be honest. I thought there would be, you know, a couple, not a bunch. Deposit all of this crap. Um, seeds. I think. This seems like a good place for seeds, I guess. What else do we have? Oh, all my tools. I could have put the tools away. That would have gave us more than enough room. I forgot that was a thing. Uh, I don't feel like going in the house, so the oregano can sit right there for now. More seeds! We might end up needing to expand the farm a bit, honestly. I was trying to kind of avoid it just because I don't want to move literally everything, but... There's, like, a lot of seeds here, man. Get pumpkin. I don't know why. I guess because of, like, Halloween and stuff, but I feel like pumpkin should be a, a fall thing. Oh, we got more new stuff! We got cacao. An almond, coconut, lemon, banana, peach. Holy crap, there's so much stuff. Okay, so cacao down, we still need to buy two. Is it possible to move our trees? I don't know if it is. Hello, sir. Oh, I should have talked to the general store owner while we were in there. But I didn't think about it. Uh, while we're out and about, is there anything on the community board? Because I remember that being a thing. Glass, which... I don't remember if we actually know how to make glass yet. Money, money, treats, and money. I think it's faster. Just go outside, honestly, than to go all the way through all of those things. Hello. Beth. One of these days I'll remember some of these townspeople's Hello. names. Wait, hold on. I can't donate anything to you yet, Gloria. I gotta talk to her. Get appraisal. Time worn object. It's most likely gonna be useless. Crap. It always is. Iron ore, yeah. Well, I mean, not like literally useless, just stuff we can't donate. More iron ore. I mean, free iron ore is free iron ore, you know? It's all iron ore, okay. Well, I guess that's fine. I wonder if people like the metals. Like, we can sell them for good money, but I wonder if we just, you know, give them to people how they would feel about it. Hi, Jack. And a Dosetsu. And Lori? I still don't know how their name's supposed to be pronounced. I wonder if, like, the shops, the, the food places, the cafe and the bistro or whatever, I wonder if they sell new stuff as time goes on. And a seedling there. We're definitely gonna have to move our animals over to the new area, I think. I'm just wondering, is this gonna be big enough of an area for all of the crops, even? Or maybe we keep the animals here and move our crops over here? 
Maybe that's what we do. But there's still like a whole nother area that we haven't unlocked yet that's gonna be full of some kind of crap. Eventually. Uh, sugar? Does it go here in the powder maker? No, seasoning maker, right? Yeah. I always forget to give Marie pet treats, so... Well, never mind. I don't know where Marie's at, so... Oh, there she is! Hello, Marie. Stop running away. I want to give you treats. Give treat. Here you go. Have a fancy pet treat, dude. I'm gonna sell this flower, too. And this oregano, because, like... I can't be bothered to go in the house right now. Is this where we are putting pet treats? Those look like pet treats to me. Yes, they are. Let's just keep clearing for now, I guess, and then we'll decide what we're doing later with everything else. Although, saying that, I just saw we forgot to water our fodder here. We should at least do that. Because, I mean, like, I don't know how many animals we end up getting. Or anything and I like the idea of the crops being right outside of the house nice and close but like this is a nice big open area over here besides this one random pond you know hi oh okay we just got a free sheep, I guess. <laughs> what do you want the sheep to be named in, in, that we're putting in the cow house? Why is there just randomly a sheep here? Is there going to be like a new animal every season over here? Honestly unexpected. Ellen? Okay, I was going to say Shirley, but Ellen's fine too. Uh, Shirley can be the next one if we get another one. It's too late. I already named Ellen. Do we need to do anything with the sheep? Here, you can have some pettins. How do we shear you? Do we have shears? Can we unlock shears? No. I'm guessing it's just something that happens automatically like milking and brushing and stuff does. Let's move this stuff out of the way. I think we'll keep the plants where we have them now, but as once we get that field filled with, with sprinklers, we're gonna start doing new ones over here for every sprinkler that we can make until we like almost fill, fill out this field and then maybe we'll move everything over from the other one at that point or whatever. Do something like that. else for clearing. Clear as much as we can over here. The only problem with like clearing everything is that if everything is cleared we won't be able to or I'm sorry if we have like a bunch of stuff planted roads and all of that stuff the new resources won't be able to spawn which kind of sucks they can't spawn where you have like paths or or whatever right i guess another thing we need to do is get that thing cleared up there so we can unlock our next area and see what the hell that gives us i imagine there's probably another way to get lumber and stuff and i've either just forgotten or we just don't know about it like the ability to buy it or get some sort of building in the future that just like produces it for us constantly. I mean, there's the little like sprite thingies that we can get. Like that right there, those little dudes that just passively collect random resources for us or give us random resources. It's 
maybe once we get like a shit ton of them, maybe they become more useful. Like they start giving us better stuff or something. I'm a little tired too, dude. You'll be okay. Chest. Time worn objects. Probably just more iron. Iron ore at that. Not even actual iron. How do we make. What are you? Wood charcoal. Okay. A giant bear carving? Captures the lively moments of a bear. Is there a reason we want that though? 10 bricks and 5 iron. We might actually be able to make that now. So we can clear out this thing. What do we need for this though? So like we can do it with money, but I'm trying not to do it with money. 50 lumber, 20 silver. It is kind of expensive. Stuff wise, we might actually just do it with money. Legitimately. I feel like we, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're just gonna do it with money. Maximizing profits. I'm not trying to like min max or anything, the profits, but I feel like, I feel like it'd be easier to get 20 grand than to collect all that stuff. Plus we could use all of that stuff to make more sprinklers, you know? Was it 10 bricks? And some amount of iron, right? You in there. Uh, where were we putting the stuff that needed broken down still? Maybe here? This looks like a good place for it. Wait, did I accidentally put it over here? I really wish the chest had a sort button. We should just be crafting material. This should have the extra machine that we're not using in it. Suction pump. You are craft. Yes. You set a suction pump by a ponder lake, it'll automatically suck up water each day. In order to properly function, suction pumps must be fueled with coal. Ew, that's new info. Okay, sure, put you there. We can put these back. Do we have coal? We have 14. I imagine we might end up needing that for something else. Send one over there. Let's go set this thing up. This is, like, very new to us. And then I want to double check what we need to make more... More dudes. So wait, do we just put it here? Wait. I thought it said it needed coal. Are coal lumps not coal? Oh, with some special techniques, it can be processed into pure coal. How do we do that? <laughs> Is that another machine that we need? Or do we just put it in, like, the ore machine? It doesn't go in the ore machine. It definitely wouldn't go in that one. Seasoning maker wouldn't make any sense. I don't think powder maker would either. How do we freaking make... Can we use charcoal? Or does it have to be coal? Oh, refined coal. Never mind. Apparently we already know how to make it. We just make it by hand. Which was unexpected. What about charcoal, though? What is charcoal used for? Hello! How are you, my guy? Um, sure, make 13 coal. Fancy. You've been playing more Mortal Kombat 1? You enjoying yourself? So, okay. So we can put 5 in there, and it'll start running for 5 days. And eventually it should empty this. I'm wondering if the pond will disappear once it's, like, done doing its thing, or if it'll just keep refilling? I don't... Hmm. 
And then miss a bug combat. Nice, man. Buttermaker. We have one of those. Jewel maker. Raw gems into jewels. Okay. So we need 10 iron, 5 the other one, and 1 moonstone. That's something new. Seed maker will want eventually, but not in a rush for... I think we have a textile maker? Bro, there's so much stuff. How do we make glass again? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm so freaking lost. First off, let's get rid of all of this stuff. I feel... I feel like we do need to restructure our everything, honestly. Because, like, this all, the whole layout was temporary, right? It was just meant to, like, get us started. I feel like we kind of need a place that's just ore. A chest and some stuff for just wood. One for just, like, rope and textiles. And then one for everything else. Oh, and then one for, like, stuff that can be turned into seasonings. We have stone. We have a bunch of stone. Oh, we can make a stone box, but what I really want to make is just more stone path. Let's make, um... 130 stone paths. And then let's grab... How do we make stone chest or wood chests? Five lumber. Lumber has to be processed though, stone doesn't. So even though it doesn't quite look as nice, I don't think, I'm just gonna make five, I think will be enough stone chest. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is, right? We're gonna want, how far down can we put stuff and paths and whatnot? Like, can we put this here? No. Can't put it there either, though, can we? That's annoying. Bro, this shape is annoying. Whatever. Okay, because what I'm thinking is we'll put a chest, right? And then two machines for each... Oh, I almost knocked my entire monitor over because my foot twitched. <laughs> that would have been bad. We're fine. Everything's great. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we do that and then put like two work machines in front of it. And then we just kind of outline it with paths so we know what's what. So two and then one and then up. And then chest, and nope, go down one, and chest. Okay, so let's get the lumber. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care what's in. Oh, this is ingots actually, but whatever. So this is going to be our metals chest then. And then in front of it, we can put Oh, these take up more room than I thought they did. Hmm. Maybe I should check that first. I guess I would kind of want them in a line to save on some space. Can I, if I clear this away, can I put it down one farther? No. Damn everything! <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to rethink this. 
I think what we're gonna have to do, honestly, is just clear the farm and then just start over from scratch, at least as far as, like, all the machines and stuff go. I'm gonna leave this chest here for right now, though. I'm gonna put all this crap that I'm using to work on stuff in there. So we need to go to bed for the night. And then... Oh no, you're processed, your flower. Everything else is processed. Alright. Uh, flower goes in here, that's a staple food. That goes in here. Pink cat flower. Oh, that's a flower. That can't go in here. Duh. Oh, God. Go to sleep. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out tomorrow. We need some rest tonight, man. Ugh. We got four green. That should be enough to buy a couple more of the trees that we need for this season. Because apparently there's a lot of those, too. Who is the girl again? Hello. You're the human I met before, right? She's not human, confirmed. So bright here. There's so much light. Yeah, yeah, there is. <laughs> so you see it, too. I was awakened by the light. Girl, you're a little creepy, you know that? Is there something over there? <laughs> We're just walking around being creepy looking at all these dudes like... <laughs> Literally, we're just like, this is so freaking weird, man. Can nobody else see her? Is that the problem? Which, I mean, that makes it kind of even creepier, because then everybody just thinks that we're going around just looking at them for some reason, you know? By ourselves. Unless I'm somehow invisible right now, too. Nobody acknowledged our existence. Okay, well, that dude, the little sprite, can see her. Ah, she just disappeared into the shrine, didn't she? Mm. Good morning, Marie. Ooh, plants? Let's go, dude. Got some radishes. Lots of radishes. This ready to harvest? Nope. No, no, nope. Nothing else is ready to harvest, but these things are actually growing now, so that's exciting. And then I need some watering can? Which I think is empty, actually, isn't it? No, it's not. Awesome, even better. Yeah, I think today is gonna be like since we have the two pink cat flowers on us, we'll go and give two pink cat flowers to the two girls that we're considering wooing. Um, but other than that, I think we're just going to spend the entire day, like, redoing the farm. And I'm tempted to start actually moving crops over now. Like, as soon as they're harvested, because, like, that one's done there, right? Like, I'm tempted to just pick that sprinkler up and move it over to the other area now. I don't know. Let's let's clear some space first. Wait, is this fully grown? I think it's fully grown. I think our axe is just that freaking powerful now that I can chop these things down in one, one fell swoop.
we have water before we go over here we do good 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 oh um, we do want to buy the new seeds too that were not new seeds but the new um new trees we definitely want to get those still Come on, cow, get out of the way so the other things can spawn. Or not. Just just stay there forever so nothing can spawn. Nothing can come out of the cage but you. Or the cage. The, the cow house. There's one. Good morning, Muriel. Good morning, Beelzebub. <laughs> Words are hard, don't mind me. Bro, am I just gonna have to like, can I push you? I don't know if this is actually work. I think it is working. <laughs> My bag is full, of course it is. All right, well we should be done with the watering can for right this moment. Cut the wool. We're gonna sell the wool because we've never sold wool before. All the radishes, the mushrooms, Clams. Keep the milk. I think we'll keep the rest of what we have. Let's throw some stuff into chests real quick before we go into town. We're just going to have to pick all this stuff back up later, which is annoying, but... Okay. Do we go ahead and move? I wish I knew if that pond would disappear, disappear or not. Because if it's not going to actually... Hmm. Oh, a customer. Oh, shoot. All the people who know how to run the store are gone. I think my brother's at the cafe, so go find him if you're in a hurry. Oh? Wait, are they not open yet? I'm telling you, Jack, you should really sell radios. There's a ton of kinds going around right now. Yeah, I'm sure people would love to compare them. So I know it'd be cool and all, but we'd only be able to keep one or two in stock. It's not like we could really compare them. Dang, if we can't even do that, what's the point? How do you feel about selling cameras? First radios, now cameras? Yeah, you know, the kind that can take video. Oh, hold up a sec. What's up? Do you need something from me? Weren't you in charge of watching the shop today? He's probably here because of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little sister told you to get me. You came all the way out here just for that. Sorry about that. Okay, gotta get into work mode. This here's the weapon and armor shop. What are you buying or uh, what are you selling? See what you did there, man. Nice one. But seriously, though, what did you come here to do? Are you looking to buy or to sell? Neither. I just came to browse. I'm not asking you, man. Wait, is... Does he actually, like, run his own shop here? No. Okay. Hello, Angela. I have an extra flower. Don't I? Yeah. Here, would you like... Would you like a flower? Here you go. You a milk. You can have a flower. <laughs> I would like to buy... Some... An almond seedling? A coconut seedling? And I guess that's it, because I'm poor. Fifteen days after planning, so we do want to get these things soon. Hopefully it won't take too long. And then, because I'm lazy, instead of going to my chest to get more mushroom spores, I'm just going to buy one from you, so thank you for that. We can't really move the trees. The trees are kind of here, and they're here to stay. Because I don't think there's any way we can move them. I think we just have to, like, chop them down. Unless it drops a seedling when we chop it down. I'd rather not... I'd rather not put that to the test. So we're probably going to have to move, like, the animals down eventually. And then put... Like, just keep moving the trees off to the side, I think. Oh. So I'm just thinking, like, if we clear out all of the crops, then we'd have more room to put our, like, work area over here, which would be nice. And having all of this stuff close to the house, I think, would be better than the crops. Because once we get the sprinklers, we don't really have to deal with the crops all that often, right? It's just go out and check on them once a day. 
to harvest or whatever and then like be done with it more or less I don't know should <laughs> I'm terrible with decisions like this man <laughs> Uh, it's so much easier whenever, like, like with Stardew Valley, whenever it's just one big farm area. Because then, like, we can just have, we just have everything on one farm, you know? Like, since, I don't know, it's just easier to lay everything out. This is scary. There's different zones. We have these seedlings. Let's put them gonna put those there because I'm not gonna move this away yet because we still have stuff over here that we have to do okay I think I am gonna take the sprinkler though let's grab some stone road and see if we can figure out some sort of layout that works for over here basically we want to like we can get pretty close to this Do we want to start it, like, right here, though, or start it down a little bit? I think I'd rather start it down a little bit, like, here. Okay, so we can't go any farther over. Can we go down all the way from here, though? We can. Yeah, that's a lot more space. And this is, like, a, just a big open area that we can use for crops. And I'm hoping this will go away. Go away once it's done suctioning it up. We'll just have to figure out, like, how to work around things as we get to it. We... I hate the paths being split up, but if we come over one more spot... Is that still clear all the way down? It is. So screw it. I think we're gonna do it like that. And we still want it to be, like, three by three. One, two, three, so it would come over one more. So, like, this is gonna be our zone. Wait, how do we hammer? Oh, okay, well, baby trees are apparently a pain in the ass to get rid of. I mean, to be fair, we are using a hammer to get rid of baby trees for some reason, instead of, you know, like an axe or a sickle or something. That would make some kind of sense. So you'll go there, and then... I guess we do need the hoe and the watering can for now. How does this charge? Okay. We should only have to water this the one time. Sprinkler will take care of it for us after that. A little annoying, but again, just remember it's going to take care of it for us after today. I'm a little tempted to keep, like, some crops up here. Just for, like, convenience, having them next to the house. Like, maybe my tea or something, but... Nah, I think we're just going to throw everything down here. The other thing we could do to, like, maximize space, we don't need, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna make bigger plots. I don't know if we ever get better sprinklers. If that's a thing or not, but... Oh, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. So that's three. Do we do a two by two square or a three by three square? That would be three, and then it would be a gap. Ooh, okay. That, at least for now, is going to work okay, being like a three by three. So then that's one... Two, three. I 
kind of hate that <laughs> because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's probably going to be just a bunch of random crops in this bigger field like this. But this will give us more growing room and less path room. Rue, hello, man. Welcome. Something like this. Do tilt spots ever, like, go away on their own, or do we need to, like... I'm just wondering, should we till it all now, or should we just leave it? I guess I didn't check this side. Is this side clear? Yeah. Okay. Screw it. Let's go ahead and till this area now, too, man. Worst case scenario, we end up having to redo it, which... Would suck, but it's not the end of the world. So we would want the whole outside ring killed. Uh, you. This is a lot of thinking. I'm not made for this. Oh, that's... Actually, no, that's fine. That's a good spot. It's a lot easier whenever I'm doing it, like, one at a time. And then it would be skip, and then you. So three here. You. Three. Yeah, okay, and then... Three. This one as well. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. For a second I thought, like, I royally screwed stuff up, but no, this is right. And then... You. And then that would be a skip. I'm a tilling expert. Look at us freaking go, man. And then we have, like, a big grid of 3x3. Three three. We have a 3x3 three three grid of 3x3 three three growing areas. Which I think I'm gonna be happy with. We should probably go grab some seeds and actually plant them before it gets too, too late. What do we want to grow? I'm just going to grow whatever's in the top. Green pepper seeds. That's what we grow in there. In our brand new spot. There we go. Just going to be careful not to, like, put it in the wrong spot or something. All right, and then we want to, like... This chest is all, like just a junk chest for now to clear inventory space we forgot to give flowers to the people we literally <laughs> ah we literally went to town earlier to give flowers to the to the two people that were were interested in and just completely forgot gg me gonna slow down our progress on like making materials and things but is is necessary and then these are gonna have to come down a fair bit let's go ahead and get rid of these machines for now too probably go pick up our eggs do we have inventory space we do not a ton but we have some too bad we can't put, like, egg makers and stuff inside the coop. That would be very handy, actually. Um... Okay. So, if I want a chest dedicated to an area... ...at the top... ...and then leave room for, I guess, three machines so that it's, like, got a little bit of space... I think what we need to do, grab our paths again out of here, 
And then we need to get like a rough outline of where we can neatly gridify this, you know? Like how far down... From here, we can't go any farther over though. So to be neat, we can't come any farther over than this. Which does mean even though we have to water it, we could like maybe grow some fodder or something in this like extra space here. And then like, and this part of the farm is just not nice. Okay, so maybe like to here and then come down. How well does this grid though? So if we grab those chests out of here, so we'd want a chest like here so this path can keep going over like so. Actually, we'd want the chest probably like in the middle or whatever, but it doesn't matter. And then we would want space for, I guess, three machines? These aren't the machines that would be staying here. I'm just trying to see, like, how well things fit. And then chest would actually go... Here? And then we could put something there to, like, stop stuff from spawning if we wanted to. But that would mean, like... So how... How big did this area end up being? What, an inner diameter of six? Or inner size of six by... One, two, three, four... By... One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Four by six. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, space, one, two, three, four, five, six. We wouldn't be able to have a path on this side, but it does kind of work once all these crops get moved out of here. And then we could maybe have one more row of them up here. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. If we clear this, could we put a path there? I know we can't put one here annoyingly, but sometimes gaps happen and we just have to deal with them. Optijack's probably dead already. The bugs have murdered him. I wouldn't expect to hear from him again. I'm looking for a new partner to play Baldur's Gate with me on uh, Thursdays, if anybody's interested. Just... Oh, shit. Never mind. Hold up. Ain't nobody heard that. Alright, it's getting late, late in game. So... Everything's... A mess. But I'm throwing everything in here. So it's out of my inventory. <coughs> Repeat that, you were actually switching to your headphones. I was just talking shit on my brother, that's all. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if his dad did that, to be honest with you. But these are gonna have to move down. That's the other thing to remember. Okay, so I do need to do one thing real quick before we go to bed, because I might end up moving those tomorrow and I don't want to forget. So we need an inner diameter of four. One, two, three, four, and then this would go side to side like that. And that gives us a lot of working area. So then we can move these. I hate the idea of the animals spawning like right out into like stone paths and things. But these dudes need to come down so that we can extend our, our orchards over basically is my thinking. All right, bedtime, yes, hit the hay. It's bed bedtime, let's go. Do we make money? We made some money. We can buy one more tree if we get our stuff moved down and if the shop's open. I can't remember in this game when shops are open and closed and all that. Uh, 
Ah. Hello, Marie. Morning pets for Marie. We might end up just turning this whole first section of the island, or of whatever. Oh, we got our first rice ha harvest. Cool, that means we can make whatchamacallits out of this eventually. Um, soy sauce, and can we make rice flour too? I honestly don't know. But we're keeping all of this. We'll sell, we'll sell one because that's what it was. The game doesn't tell us what's been sold and not. That's what bugs me. Or what's been donated. Ah. Oh, dude, we got our beans too. Okay, so we can make like soy, soy sauce and uh, is it rice vinegar? Is that the other thing we can, the thing we can make out of rice? I don't remember. All right, everything else is still being waited on. Put all of the beans, except for again one. We need to sell one in there. Eventually, those are going to go into condiment makers. And then, last harvest? Still not the last harvest. I was kind of hoping it would be because I want to get rid of this field right here. I hate the idea of like getting rid of it early, but I think we're gonna get rid of it early. There's no point in bringing the animals out yet because we're getting ready to move their things down. And once we move their things down, we're just gonna have to let them out again and do all the stuff. I don't think we'll need the hoe or watering can, but you can bring it out anyways, don't care. Okay, clear away. Clear away. Oh, they just run around once we let them out. Oops. Well, can I pet you at least? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, whatever. Chop. 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 That's... We need hammer for small trees for some reason. Only place they should be able to enter is through your AC and door. Sprayed your shit down with some sort of bug repellent oil in your corners and under the bed. <laughs> shit, Jesus Christ, dude. I don't know why you let them bug you so much. Like, I get a random mosquito in the house every once in a while or whatever, and I just ignore the little dudes. Like, yeah, they annoying, but they're not the end of the world. Wait, 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 wait. I would like to get my last harvest <laughs> out of them before I smash them. Okay, now smash. There. Yep, put away this facility, too. Pick up the fodder. Okay. So, coop. We want it to go as far over as we can. Okay. Uh, uh. Chicks. Chick. In. House. Done. I don't know if this is going to be enough room. Give me a second game. I don't think it'll be enough room for the cows. Fuck! Two other windows are still sealed and shut and non-stop. You never saw a bug in your apartment besides the occasional flyer stink bug. These houses are wild. Fuckers have been... <laughs> uh, it's your kids who freak out like crazy if they see anything. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense, I guess. Like... I guess I can get it for the kids, but like, I don't know, boy. <gasps> it looks like it'll just freaking fit, dude. Okay. So I want to get it. Get out of the way, cow. I think that's as close as it'll go. Ow. I mean, it's not just cows anymore, but whatever. Cow. Ow. Done. Confirm. Return to facility. Place. Place. All of you guys go back to your homes. I think we're still gonna have to move the animals eventually. Because the orchard is gonna have to get smaller and smaller as it gets closer to these hills over here. But for now, this is something, at least. 
I still have the paths, so let's see, like... How many more trees we can fit. Can we fit another set of three? We can fit another set of three, okay. Which I think is more than what we actually have available to us right now. Before I forget, let's water these one set of crops down here that we haven't done yet. And then see if we can buy the next tree. And you know what? Just sell these eggs and things for now. Oh, mm -hmm. We should probably let our animals out, huh? <laughs> and give them fodder at least. Oh my god, I'm such a terrible uh, animal parent. I'm sorry. Give you pets. Who are you? You're Muriel, okay. So Muriel doesn't need any more pets. Everybody else does. Ooh, we got like fancy milk. Milk plus. Fresh sweet milk, full calcium. Hmm. She was screaming like crazy because of a fly on the seat. A fly? Bruh. I mean, I get it. They're kids, though. She named a spider after me? What? I don't, I don't remember this being a thing, but that's fine. I like spiders, so that's cool. You can name the spiders after me. There you go. Fresh fodder for you guys, too. All right, now trees, 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 trees. So we bought cacao and whatever the next two were, but there's still two or three more that we need to buy. If they're open on Tuesdays. They're not open on Tuesdays. Okay, so don't have to worry about it today. Do we have any flowers on us? We have one. We might as well deliver that while we're here. Again, I mean, I guess assuming they're open, they're not open either. Are you home, at least? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So, wait. My favorite friend? What did we get that title for? Whatever. Last time when we were at their house, an object's dad found a black nail or weaver and asked her to name it. She said, she oh, really? <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember seeing the spiders. I don't remember having the one named after me, though. Okay. Let's pick some of this shit up. Let's start trying to get some of this, like, actually set up, right? Get you picked up. Oh, God. That was a mistake. Okay. Chest. We'll go here in the middle. And we're gonna make this chest into the ore chest. So, God, this was a mistake. Okay, let's just let's just move on. That chest has a bunch of stuff in it too. We have a chest full of like chests though, right? Yeah. Here we go. Grab this stuff. I guess if we put away the tools, that'll give us a little more inventory space. This chest needs to go away. I think things despawn if they sit out overnight, so we really need to try and make sure to get everything put away before the end of the night. Okay. So then stone chest would go here. This one can be... So if this is stone, this one can be lumber. Lumber and lumber-related products. She was so proud of that name. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm going to remember it. Do we have... Any ore or ore-related stuff? We're going to need one for just, like, brick and generic building material kind of zone, too. And I guess technically we can fit five makers per spot if we just have the chest in the middle. 
So that's something. Ooh, look at that. Ingot makers. Okay. So I said this was the ore one, I think. So... For now, let's put the ingot makers next to it, I guess. Instead of in front of it like I was originally going to do. And then... Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm just going to leave it. That's fine. But what I am going to do is make next to it here. This actually lines up relatively well. All right? And then... Or is it over one too many? This is over one too many. I'm going to need to move this one back over by one, which means this chest has to go away too. Oh god. Where'd my, where'd my stuff go? This chest needs to go here, actually. And then... Mayonnaise Maker will go... I think it's here? And then... Let's just put down these freaking things so I can, like, <laughs> have some idea what's going on. And then this will actually come down this way, and this will come up this way. Can't be placed here. But that's one, two, yeah, so that's all good. God, I hate how the paths are going to be, like, broken up. That does mean we can come down potentially one more with our... With our, uh... Trees, though. Is this a little more tree space? Wait. No, these don't go here, either. Okay, this one's going to be ugly, but whatever. I guess our orchard just got a little bigger. So we need a chest for here, but first we need to get rid of the stupid tree. Why y'all hating on spiders, dude? Spiders are cool dudes. Especially little like jumping spiders and stuff, they're cute, man. And then chesty boy right here. And this is gonna be for like, I guess animal products? Although I don't, really know if I want to keep animal products out here. So I feel like it'd be better if they were in the fridge where I could use them to cook with at any time. But at the same time, like, do I care? Probably not. Oh wait, I have an extra sprinkler? Where'd I get another sprinkler? I could have had more stuff planted all this time. Anyways. <laughs> what I was gonna do is... Um... I'm gonna put a chest just like over here for my seeds and stuff. I guess I'll keep one thing of seeds out. Since I have this sprinkler that I didn't know about. And then... Pumpkin seeds. Grow some pumpkins. Do we have enough water? We do. Okay, we really need to get everything picked up off the ground before we lose our... I'm really hoping it's not, like, on a timer. It's on a timer, isn't it? Oh, thank God it didn't despawn. Okay. <laughs> Let's... Do we have chest chest anywhere? We do. We have a couple of chests. Let's just put a couple of random chests down for now. I honestly don't care where. Set. Pick up this stuff. Set. And let's just start dumping everything that we can't put somewhere else right now in here. Or that we're not using or whatever. Chocobo, hello! Um, was this going to be the lumber one? Yeah, because that's the ingot one, so this was going to be the lumber one. Let's 
get as much of this crap picked up as possible before it like despawns on me and I cry. Move out of the way, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen's getting all the pets today, but like forcing themselves to get all the pets today. Okay, ingot and ingot related things. Lumber and lumber related things. We have our other lumber maker? No, it's currently MIA somewhere. That's fine. Random chests. Time worn objects, all the food that we're not eating right now. Oh, wait, we do have a spot for milk currently. I mean, I guess technically we also have a spot for all this food and stuff too. It's called the freaking fridge in the house, but whatever. We have a spot for seeds. I have more milk that I missed. Bruh, this takes so much longer than I was hoping it would to get the stupid farm redone. Seeds can go down here. And I guess we pick up another chest. Deal with the mess. Can we actually pick up the whole- so close. I shouldn't have said anything. Wood, wood, wood. I mean, sap is... Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's gotten from wood, but I wouldn't say it's actually related to wood, I guess. Okay, so we should have some machines in here then, right? Where's the other lumber maker? Oh, we have two extra lumber makers. That's fine, because we have extra space for lumber makers now. If I could get things to line up. Where's the other one? Am I blind? I'm blind. Look at our work area all coming together like... Like it's coming together. Uh, coal? Would coal be like metal? Glass, I think, would probably go with metal, right? Iron ore definitely does. And I kind of feel like coal would be in the miscellaneous, like with... Although grass gets like spun, so maybe grass should go in its own thing. How many miscellaneous machines do we have? We still need somewhere for... A condiment maker for crops, so we still need a crop zone. That we need to lay out somewhere. This, this area that we're in can be something. This could be the crop one, I guess. It's close to the bridge over there where we're growing our crops. So that makes sense to me. Let's do a little bit of inventory cleaning up real quick. Okay, so for crops, we have seasoning maker. Okay, the yogurt maker doesn't actually go here, but it needs to go up there. Seasoning maker, powder maker. Do we have the condiment maker? So all of these are gonna come right here. The yogurt maker can go here in the animal good processing area, I guess. So we'll do like, oh my God, game. Seasoning maker. Seasoning maker, powder maker, condiment maker. So if it's not related to that, let's get it the hell out of here. That's processed, that's processed. We're out of space, surprise, surprise. Although there's actually only a couple things left that we need to get out of there.
kind of want to keep the machines on me because I'm kind of using the machines to help me decide what I want to go in each area. Fence. That room. All right. Do we have all of our machines either set or in our inventory? We're missing another mayonnaise maker, the brick maker. We have a spot for mayonnaise maker. That one's easy. It can just go here next to the other one, I guess. And then this is just metal as it should be. That's just wood. Okay. So all we have left right now is like a textile area. And then I think the brick maker would go in like a miscellaneous area. So we just kind of need to wait to be able to clear more of these crops out to put those ones down. So for now, I think what I'm going to do, we're going to have to move them again later, which is annoying, but whatever. For now, we're just going to throw them like down here. That way, if we need them, they're here. And then I guess throw a chest down here as well. Do we still have a chest anywhere? We have one left. That's fine. That's all we really need. I need my axe, too. Goodbye, small tree! Okay, so this is gonna be textiles and miscellaneous. So let's get this damn inventory cleaned up now. Keeping these, they can go here. Just grabbing everything and it needs to go in a specific box somewhere or stay in my inventory, one or the other. I will have a box for like flowers and stuff. Like that. Like flowers, my pet treats. Um, you know, just a box of random junk that I need to keep, but I feel like it doesn't work as far as processing goes, but it makes sense to me to have the fodder up here in the animal area, maybe? Or, hold on, hold on, hold on. I talked about growing fodder in the extra space that we have over here. So can I fit a chest down over here anywhere? Sadly, no. And there's not as much room as I had hoped to grow stuff either. I mean, not that we need much fodder because we leave our animals outside all the time anyways. It still annoys me that we can't put a chest here though. Yeah, I don't know. Civ 7, I know, dude. Optijack, did you see the Civ 7 thing? That is, that it, well, it's officially a thing thing. I'm excited, man. I don't, I wish, I don't think they showed like anything about it yet though, right? I did, I completely forgot about it, I'll be honest, after Chocobo told me about it, so like, my bad. Um, but, <laughs> still though. Because I was gonna like Google and see if they had any kind of anything up for it yet, but... I'm like, I'm feeling so lost right now, okay. Do we have any room? So this is gonna be like our random stuff chest, I guess. Um, okay, so. Random stuff. You're random, you're random, you're a thing. You need to go somewhere. Egg can go somewhere. So a lot of this stuff just needs to go in the house, actually. 
Release date's 2025. I'm not terribly surprised. I didn't figure it'd be like coming out anytime too too soon. Are we currently growing mushrooms? We are. Screw it. No, oh, damn it. Oh, we actually got our seats back, like right away. Um treats will go in here. All the pet treats. <laughs> Excuse me. We need to find a place over in our new growing area for mushroom logs. Is the room at the top here? Oh wait. Oh, that would like get in way of the bridge though. Can we put it over here though? We can, okay. Mushroom log, because then we can just put our mushroom seeds in with the other seeds. Take one of these over here, here, and then maybe sort by like season. I don't know how I'm gonna sort seeds yet. So for now, they're just kind of all over the place. Although I will put roses down here because I don't think they're till next season. Everything else I know can grow in this season at least. <laughs> Replant the mushrooms. Do we have any other seeds that we need to get rid of? No. We do have some food. The food we're gonna keep on us. Like the food food, the eating food. These need to go to the place tomorrow. And yeah, I guess the fodder is just gonna go in the animal. Still don't like the milk and stuff being in here. This chest is gonna fill up so quick if I keep all the milk. So after it gets to like a certain point, I'll probably just have to start getting rid of it. Let's go in the house and get rid of some stuff in there. This oregano will go in there, wild berries will go in here. Stone, I guess, just goes in the random processing area down here for now. Along with the grass and the sap. Um, hold on. We'll take all of the stuff that's not staying up here. All the stuff that we can take at least and then start putting stuff that can go over here and here like flowers for people that we're gonna gift uh, this is a gifting item mysterious bait can go in here pet stuff building materials literal random stuff i don't know what it is Come on, we need one more spot for something. Garbage. I guess the road can go in there. There we go. Grab the flower. Put all of this stuff in here. I mean, I did talk about weaving like, is yogurt an essential though? No, we decided it wasn't. So that can just be sold. Mayonnaise is a condiment as far as I'm concerned. I'm wondering if the condiments are going to have quality. If the condiments don't have quality, then we might end up taking them out of here too. Um, That'll go in here. Is that everything we want to keep in the fridge? I think so. One last trip around. You go there. I guess. I don't 
don't know. That's such like an arbitrary thing though. Like is yogurt a necessity or not? Whenever we keep like butter in there, you know? And mayonnaise. I mean, all of this is arbitrary. I'm just trying to think of like the best way to have this stuff sorted that makes any semblance of sense. I think it's gonna be very difficult, especially for me, because I don't make sense. This is all the random crafting stuff and textile stuff. So this is kind of like our old one. Sort by object density. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking, dude. That's something I can get behind. <laughs> I think... I think this kind of makes sense, though, at least. Like, this is crops and the things crops can be turned into. Right? So, like... That makes sense to me, at least. Uh, do we want to make soy sauce or vinegar first? Let's make soy sauce first. Which, by that logic, though, that means... If I'm gonna... No, because I'm gonna move my condiments indoors. So they're in the fridge here. So I think I will keep... I won't keep milk and eggs in here because I might use those to turn into other stuff, but I will keep butter and the stuff that they become in here, like yogurt, mayonnaise, etc. And then I'll try to kind of keep it somewhat sorted. We need to go to bed soon in game. I didn't expect to, like, get this deep. I thought we were just going to be fucking planting some crops and shit today. Or, yeah, like, while playing the game today. But then everything started to annoy me. <laughs> okay. Regard I, I think we just need to go to bed for now, though. Because it is late. <laughs> we need... <laughs> to go to bed before we get, like, passed out or whatever. In-game. In-game. Then once we have all this stuff sorted somewhat, then we can start working on getting the rest of our trees as our first goal. And then an extra 20 grand to unlock the next area, which is going to mean more sorting and crap, but whatever. start letting our animals out because that's going to take them a minute. I still feel kind of bad having them come right out into like this garbo, but whatever. More freaking harvest! Let's go! That's good actually because that means we can pick this up and move more stuff down to the next area. This one too? Let's freaking go, dude. Give me all the crops, because the more stuff I can move to the other field, it means the more space I can have for my redecoration. Okay, all that's done. We need our watering can. Actually, we need all of our tools, because we're going to clear the farm a little bit today, too. Got to keep things clear. We should need the hoe, but I'll grab the hoe, I guess. There we go. Water you. We're going to be one short. <laughs> Fantastic. Just refill it now. How do we do that? We must have, like, watered something once by accident. Like, one square by accident at some point. Grab this, too. And then seeds are actually already down here because smart. We want to grow, I don't know, corn and zucchini. Um, sure, let's do it over here. Corn here. Zucchini behind us.
Bang, and those will automatically water themselves. We're gonna sell all of these crops. Let's go take care of animals now before I forget. These will go up here. Oh, I I probably forget to pet these dudes all the time. I'm a terrible, like, animal parent. Egg milk. Ship. It's a little chunk of change for us. And then we need to start clearing this stuff up. But first, let's go into town. See what all we can buy. Hopefully find our two sweethearts, which will give... It's weird buttercups have a quality, which makes me think... Your cats agree? That's so rude! My cats love me. Uh, <laughs> ask Noodle. She hates it. Take two of these. Take them into town. I should remember to give my cat in game though a uh, treat every once in a while. I always forget. <laughs> uh, hold on, no, I don't want to buy a pet. I was gonna look to see what animals were available if there were any new ones. Ooh. Oh, Patricia, what animals do you sell now? Oh, you do sell sheep now. Okay. Well, we already have one. I don't plan on buying another one right now, but. It's good to know it's a thing. I would like to buy... So we've got those ones. We need lemon, I think, is the next one that we need. And banana. So we just have peach left to buy. And then we have everything. Animals and games fuck with you? Like, how? <laughs> like what, do you, what do you mean they fuck with you, dude? Like, fuck with you in what way? Like, they break your heart, you don't like them, you're overly nice to them. I'm so confused. Hold on, let me talk to you before you leave. Time I was under the influence, thought a cat was stuck in your wall, genuinely raised. <laughs> it was Minecraft. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sounds like you were on... <laughs> You good, man? That's all I'm saying, all right? I hope you're doing all right, but Jesus Christ. Oh, that's wild. Wait. Are you a banana? Did we already buy... Well, we might have two bananas on accident, but I guess if we do, then oh well. It's not that big of a deal. All right, let's get to clearing. Our farm is a mess right now. Uh, okay, so these can all go. Not that one, though. Actually, this one should have stayed. These ones can go, though. And then... All of this row can go. I think I'm gonna leave the vertical ones for now because I don't actually know how those are gonna line up and I don't feel like counting it out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'd be safe to remove this one though. Yeah, this line's definitely safe to remove. Honestly, both lines are probably safe to remove. I think I'm just gonna remove all of them. Fuck it. Which also shows me... Do we have enough room? Yeah, we do have enough room to do one more area. I'm gonna go ahead and move our well now, too, I think. Just have it a little bit closer to... There's only one field I hope we ever have to water again, and it's this one. 
It's when your current cat was in your wallet, it brought some PTSD. <laughs> like, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, your current cat did hide in the walls for a bit, didn't it? <laughs> oh my god. No, we haven't done at all yet this summer. Fish. There could be so many cool fish available, we just would have no idea. That was the wrong freaking stone road, whatever. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this would be the gap, so... It'll split like that. And then one... Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, it lines up, boy. I was legitimately, like, pretty worried that it wouldn't line up. Okay, well, it doesn't line up perfectly. <laughs> but it lines up well enough that we can, like, keep the layout of all of the stuff how we want it. Just not the roads. Because, God forbid, you put a road on a slight slope. And then... This one comes over from here. Which means this chest does need to move. It'll go back here. There is some space back here to put stuff. Mm, I hate doing this. All that stuff's gonna fall. Whatever. Where's my chest? Um, I think I'm gonna put it here. That way there's room to put something different there if I want to. Trust me, this isn't what I want to be doing. It's just like, it needs done, man. I need some semblance of organization in my life. Uh, in the game, I say as I just randomly dump everything into this chest. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Appreciate you. Um, okay. This all makes sense. Keep going. Oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> you're talking about the dude in game. Yeah, he's very enthusiastic about everything. The sounds he makes whenever he crafts something, whenever he fucking, um, literally does anything, man. It's kind of weird, honestly. Where do we put stone? Down here? Oh, we're, like, running out of stone. We're gonna need to do a mining trip soon. But I can make one more chest. Craft stone chest. Like, picking stuff. Cow is so big compared to you? The, I mean, cows are big creatures, man. What'd you expect? So I guess... I guess this can be our... Textile area? Which I'm assuming wool will also go in the textile area, along with... The grasses? Right? I mean, that would make sense to me, at least. actually don't remember how to make the twine. We might have to, like, do that by hand. So maybe that's the wrong area to put it, but it can go there for now, at least. Hmm. And the brick maker will just move a little bit closer to this is the... Well, actually, I might as well just make this, like, the random area. Right? Because we're going to need, like, a miscellaneous area eventually anyways. So it might as well be there. I think I'd rather have it be this bottom corner. Because, one, it's ugly. And, two, I don't know. Like, having it be just over here in its own zone would kind of be nice. But is full because crops. So, oh well. There we go. 
All right, we now have some semblance of things that make sense going on here. So we can start crafting and doing things again. I feel like we needed soy sauce to make so many freaking recipes, and now I don't even remember any of it. We do need to sell at least one, though. Soy sauce is worth a decent amount, 96 gold. I feel like that's not bad. Okay, soy sauce. Your condiment, you can just be thrown in there. Um, actually, I take that back. Let's put plants that don't have quality here, and then the seasonings and stuff up here a little bit. Something like that, maybe. Did soy sauce have quality? It did not. Thank God. <laughs> that just means it'll stack so much more nicely. That's, that's good. Very happy about that. All right, now we can actually clear our farm a little bit if we can get around the freaking cows, man. We're definitely gonna, at some point, once we get that 20,000 gold, we're gonna have to move our animals, I guess, to the farthest away zone, which kind of sucks just from a, like, that's really far away standpoint. But no matter what we put up there, I guess unless it was crafting stuff, we're gonna have to go there eventually anyways. Uh, I should probably let the trees and stuff grow still. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a baby tree. Oh, well. Baby tree gone. Well, hello! I didn't even know you were alive, my guy. Sorry, I'm like engrossed in the game right now. I'm collecting my ores. Hydrate. Ah. Good tea. Many thanks. Back to breaking rocks now. <laughs> this is the most important thing in my life at the moment. Just gotta break these trees, break these break these trees, chop these trees, break these rocks. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, we need to check on our pond, too, because, like, is it drained yet? No. Not yet, but it's getting there. Uh, my bag is full? Okay, well, hold on. We don't need this or this anymore. That'll give us a little bit of room. Good job. You scoop nothing. And you're just a baby tree. We can chop you guys. You're a baby tree. Can we pick you up? Or is our inventory full full? It's still full full. Okay. God, there's like a bunch of stuff for us to pick up, but inventory just sucks. I think we picked up sugar cane already, right? Yes, good. Was a little worried. Chop. Chop, chop. Scoop. And... Is that it? Farm clear? Nope. Almost. I almost went and picked that up. It would have just sat on the ground and then despawned overnight, and I would have been sad. I'm glad I caught myself. Ah, oh, there's all the salt rocks, too. Okay, that's fine. We'll go over here. We'll drop off the stuff that we have, and then we'll collect more stuff. That's all. Throw you guys in here. Wood and wood adjacent. We don't have any animal products, right? No, okay. Shouldn't. Grasses. Miscellaneous junk, like rocks and sap. 
What are you? If we go to our actual inventory, we get info on stuff, right? Lovely round treasure covered in green crystals can be placed on the countertop in your house or donated to the museum. I think we've donated one of those before. So I'm just going to sell it. And then what else do we have? We have plant related things. Oh, and then I forgot miscellaneous. A miscellaneous thing. Le clay. Honestly, I think... I think it's cleared enough in there. We're gonna use what little time and energy we have to collect more stone. And stone is, like, our main goal. If we find ore, that's awesome, but I'm just looking for big collections of stone that we can crush. And then, of course, the, like, excellent ore deposits, like, these things in the wall here. Yeah, give us stuff like this. Oh, um, hold on. Like this, that's what I was trying to do. All of the stone game. I'm a little tired. Well, yeah, it is 10 o'clock at night, Mr. Me. Uh, we can get both of these. And these. No ladder? Ladder. Let's go. Get this dude, too. Can we... Yeah! Look at us go! Efficiency, man! I wonder, like, when we upgrade our hammer again, I wonder how much, like, larger of a space we're gonna be able to, to hammer, you know? How big does it get, man? It's honestly, like, a 3x3 grid is already pretty... Pretty good, in my opinion. Oh, there was another one I could have got over there. Oh, well. Although, a lot of times, like, if it's just two, since I can break them in one hit, it would probably honestly be faster. Oh, shoot. To just do a single swing and take it out. I think, like, three is the sweet spot, because, of course, we have to spend the time charging first. How much stone are we up to? 91? Not terrible. And we're on the bottom floor, so we're not going any lower of this mine. Let's go throw all this junk places. We still have a general goal of making more sprinklers. We want to fill out like a big field so we can just make more money, but we want the sprinklers to do all the work for us, right? Besides the harvesting and, and planting, obviously. Because more money means less problems in games like this, generally speaking. Of course, the best way to get money is just to sell freaking crops. I think... What's mortar made out of? I can't remember. I know bricks are made of clay, right? That makes sense. Is mortar made of stone? Maybe. You're made of you. And then this top row, I guess, is just, like, truly random crap for now until we figure out what it's used for. Oh, it's, like, after 11 in game. Let's go to bed. All right, then tomorrow will be, like, our first normal in-game day again. Where we're actually, like, going into town and talking to people normally and trying to complete quests for the town and all that kind of good stuff. And we can buy our last tree! Give me trees. 
My dude looks like perpetually just <laughs> in a state of distress, which I fuck with so hard, man. Because I'm also constantly in a state of distress. <laughs> Put away the hammer before we accidentally ruin crops. <gasps> Another field down. Okay, so we don't actually need the thingy down here at all anymore. So we can move that now, too. That won't take long, thankfully. Oh. Clear that. And we got another harvest of onions. Oh, harvest. So that means we can plant another thing down in our new area. And that officially clears up another spot for us for, um... For another crafting, storage, whatever area. We could have one area be literally just a, like, storage area, I guess. There's no reason we couldn't do that. Okay, and important to note, things do until themselves eventually. I kind of figured they would sooner or later, but... I don't know, like, it had been so long that I just kind of started to think they wouldn't. Um, we need watering can and hoe. And seeds, what do we want to do next? Eggplant? Eggplant it is. Why do you do this game? <laughs> okay, we still have enough to water, thankfully. I don't understand why it does that sometimes, though. We're, we're holding R1 and the game's just like, you wanted to face the other direction? Like, no, I'm holding R1 specifically so we don't do stupid stuff like that game. Why, why you like this? We need to sell one of those new flowers that we got. Ooh, 130, they're not bad either. But other than that, we'll probably keep the flowers for gifting to to people. Which, let's resort this again. This is like gifting corner. This is pet corner and I guess bait. <laughs> Sell you. Let's do our animals before I forget, and then we'll go into town. I don't know, like, how early you need to let your pets out for them to eat outside instead of eating the fodder that you leave inside. I mean, apparently they ate some food inside at some point. So we should probably do pets, like, first thing in the morning. Which, I mean, I kind of guess I already assumed that would be the right thing to do, but I haven't done it for whatever reason. They, yeah, see, they ate some too at some point. I don't know if it was today, though, or yesterday, or I have no idea when. There's another harvestable back there. My bag is full. Of course it is. Milk. Craft. Milk. Make two yogurts. I don't care. And then both of you can make a mayonnaise. There we go. Now we have some space. Gimme. Is mine. I want. We have a picture of a squirrel already. Yes. Now the textile makers here. Can we spin wool in them? I'm assuming that's a thing. But I don't actually know if that's true. How do we get... Oh, we got more crafting recipes at some point. Shrimp bait? Yarn maker? 
wool and fur into yarn. Okay. Well, I still think it makes sense to have it go down here, but it's not quite what I was thinking. We need to learn how to make glass, because glass is like the next thing that it seems like a lot of our stuff needs. Um... We just craft it. Really? <laughs> it's just, it's just crafted? So hold on, where, where was I keeping glass? I think I was keeping it in the ore area. So if I just grab this raw ass glass rock, because that's how glass is collected. Yeah, we just straight up make glass. Okay, sure. So, we have butter, yarn maker. We need three planks and two iron. Three planks, two iron. And I think it was one glass, right? Oh, I did that backwards. Well, I guess, I guess if we just make it by hand, then it wouldn't actually go here. Because it doesn't need a machine, so it would just go in the... I'm just going to make, like, a field of chests. Yeah, I think this is just going to be all chests, man. <laughs> For just storing all the random junk that we always have. So much for today being a normal day, eh? Uh, <laughs> I know we needed some solid lumber, though. I think it was two. Oh, my bag's full. Holy crap. I need a chest, though, so give me that. Give me a chest first. Why can I not? Because my bag is full, of course. That makes sense. Flower. Let's go put this well down. That'll give me a spot. And I have all my tools out still. That'll instantly clear up so much space. I'm an idiot. <sighs> okay, you go here. There's a well. Now, craft. Chest. It's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Craft six chests for me. We fill in this dude with chests. We should never need for chests again. So freaking glass can go here. Stone? I don't think stone is used in any machines. So stone can go here. Do I want popcorn? Um... Honestly, I think I'm okay. Thank you, though. How do we make mortar? Is that another thing that we just make in our freaking hand? Oh, yeah, but it's made with clay. Okay. But so are bricks, right? If that's the case, then I'll leave mortar up here. Yes, it is. Okay. But yeah, that means as far as I know, stone isn't used for any machines. So stone? You going down here. How about thread? No, threads, threads made on the machine. Wool's also made in the machine. I'm assuming wool would make cloth. What about twine, though? Twine is made by hand. It is made from grass, though. So I think... In that case, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna leave it up here. think. 
That makes sense to me. Sap? I don't think sap is used for anything that I know of. Yet. Same with, like, this stuff. Coal, though, is... There's a bunch of stuff made from stone. I think stone's gonna get its own chest. The problem is, if I ever stop playing this game for even, like, two seconds, I'm probably gonna forget all of this sorting that I've done. That's my biggest problem right now. Okay, all of that because I was gonna make a freaking... some more of the machines that we don't have yet. Yarn maker. So I need one glass. Do I have glass on me? I do not, but I know where I keep glass. One glass, please. And then... Two, whatever, and three hardwood. Three hardwood. And two iron ore. Or iron ingots. And then we should be able to make a yarn maker. Which... I'm gonna put with textile, even though technically it's a animal thing, because I don't freaking care. Because <laughs> I can do what I want, damn it. Now, is it one wool per, or is it... Yes. Oh, and that's not how you make cloth. That's just yarn. So wait, how do we make freaking cloth? Is that another handcrafted thing? No? <laughs> Unless I'm blind, no. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Tell the Manson at which for following. Um me a jewel maker, but we don't have one of those jewels yet. I think I might have gotten one and then I either donated it or sold it. I don't know which. Can't make a seed maker yet. We have yogurt. Dye maker. Sure. I don't really see me getting into dye, but... But sure. An essence, but we need more glass for that. A textile maker. Thread into cloth. There we go. Okay. So three thread, five iron. We can do that. Three thread. Five iron. Hello, cow. <laughs> five of you. There we go. Textile maker. Craft. can go over here. So now it was what? Thread into cloth? So does that mean like do both kinds of thread make different kinds of cloth? Yeah, there's flexible cloth and then there's regular cloth, which means I'm probably going to want to eventually have a couple of these machines, which means I might end up moving the yarn maker actually after just going off about how I didn't care and I was putting it here anyways. That might end up changing. We'll see. Um, I might as well get these machines going too, since they're just sitting here not doing anything. Lumber here. Lumber here. It's textile maker, mayonnaise maker, seasoning, essence. We don't have the glass for that. We already decided. Dye. Three and three. That can go in the random stuff area, I guess. Oh. 
die maker. Okay. Die maker can go over here. We need to get rid of the grass first. Die maker. And die maker uses flowers? So we need to start keeping some flowers over here, which I guess I was keeping flowers up here as gifts. But I guess we could put them over there and then just like steal them from this chest when we want to have convenient gifts to give people. Um, We have a bunch of pink cat. Can we... A pink cat doesn't count. Is it only the ones that have quality, like the ones that we grow? Yeah, those both work. What about Moondrop? I mean, they literally have flower in the name, so I'm kind of surprised they don't work, but... Yeah, it seems like it's only the ones with quality. Okay, so these ones are useless for this machine. make one die. I don't know if we ever need die for anything or if it's only for aesthetic reasons, which I'm not particularly worried about myself. These can go back down here again for gifting and things. Any more machines that we're missing now that we can make at least? Can't make you. Have you. Have you. Can't make you. No yogurt. Or, we have yogurt. We have dye. We have condiment. We have textile and mayonnaise. And brick. And seasoning. We don't have essence. We don't have enough glass. We have thread. We have powder. We have ingot and lumber. So that is everything. Okay. <laughs> we now have all machines that we can make, but we just need to collect more glass from, I believe we just have to get that from the, the mine. Now, are there any machines that we want to get going? Not really. Uh, yes, actually this one. We want these ones always going. back. Take this glass back. Which actually, if we take this glass back, we might have just enough. Nope, we're still one short. Well, I could turn that glass rock into one, I guess, but I don't know. It's more important to me to just leave it here and have it be somewhat in a assorted way than to have it be, you know turned into something useful, which is dumb, but yeah. Alright, let's take two flowers into town with us. Let's finally screw that up. Let's finally get into town, which my plan for today was to have, like, a normal day out. Oh, we need to buy our last tree now, too, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've done that yet, either. Because we bought, what, something and banana... I'm pretty sure it was just peach or whatever. Whatever whatever the last one on the list is. That's the only one we still need. Oh, hello, mystery person again. Uh, did you come to see me again? Well, what do you want with me? I, I honestly don't know. Who are you? Lady Spirit. We've been waiting for you, Lady Spirit. We'll give you our energy. So is she the Harvest Goddess? That's kind of what I was thinking she was, but, like... I don't know, though. She is, dude! Look at her! That's totally the Harvest Goddess. The light... You lent the Earth Sprites your power, did you not? Look, the Earth Sprites sing your praises. 
the shrine. Now you can use sprite points from finding follower sprites to receive blessings. Once you've earned a certain number of points, new blessings will be unlocked. Okay. Interesting. Um, first though. Hello, Jack and Angela. Bye. The last freaking tree, please, Peach. Okay. And then give you some flowers. I still really hope that she likes flowers even. I don't honestly know if she does. I think she does. Have we checked our crops today? I think... I need to, like, now that our, our farm is more or less in the way that we want it to be, I need to figure out what my routine's gonna be you now every day. Hello. Oh, wait, no, I don't, I don't wanna have a meal, I'm not. I don't need it. Talk to all you people since we see you, and then let's go check out that thing. We should totally go fishing today, actually. I really need to hit up the mine too, but like fishing, we haven't done that in a while. Huh. I mean, I guess we could check like the town board and get our free stuff too, actually. Getting our free stuff. Oh, and if the, okay. There's so many things in town that we can do. Close Thursdays, museum's closed today. I was hoping to get the time when objects taken care of. Most likely just iron, but whatever. Um, coal lump. We do actually have one of those. But coal is kind of in short supply for me right now, so I think I'm just going to keep it. Tilling expert. Some free seeds. We'll take it. Free fodder. Also good. And a gold freaking one. That should be a decent chunk of change. I don't remember how much you get for the gold medals, but it's got to be something. Hey there! Lars and I were about to go for a ride. Wanna come with? I have my own motorcycle, so I'm gonna hitch a ride with Lars. Let's see, you could, uh, oh, I got it. You could ride a cow! Uh, yeah, sure, that's, they're twice as fast as humans because they have four legs. Sure. Just messing with you. I'm just gonna be Lars and me today. We're going pretty far, but could at least bring you back a souvenir or something. Could get you a magnet or a calendar. Oh, maybe you're a keychain kind of guy. Here they sell pickles there too. They use local cucumbers and everything, so it's the real deal. What, you don't want anything? I'm offering to buy something for you. Come on, you're gonna regret it if you turn for down free stuff. I'll make this kind of offer often, you know? Yo, Jacopo, you good to go? I'm ready, what happened to your motorcycle? It's out for repairs. We're gonna walk today. <laughs> hey, it's nice to get a little exercise every now and then. Gotta get work those muscles. Well, that's that, farmer. Sounds like we're sticking local today, so the souvenirs will have to wait until next time. Uh, okay. In times like these, we gotta become the motorcycle? Oh my... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that a thing, dude? That doesn't need to be a thing. Hello, Jesse. Wait, Jesse didn't get happy when I talked to her. Maybe I already talked to them today. And I just forgot. That's totally possible. Uh, shrine. Offer prayers. Special prayer? What business do you have with me? Change an animal. Oh, that's cool. Receive blessing. Points require. Oh, wait. Okay. Your farm's field level? This is a new friend care sprite? Journey sprite. Okay, well, first, boost max stamina. That's always really good. Um, and then I guess maybe all the sprites first? Unlock all those dudes? And then what does boosting your farm's field level do? Should be able to raise higher quality. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, give me more stamina, and then, yeah. Cool, okay. So I was wondering how we were gonna, like, get our stamina increase more. I mean, there's the, the mini game that we found that boosted it, right? And then there's 
another one that we know of, but we haven't been able to beat yet. So I assumed, like, there's probably going to be something there whenever we beat it. Some sort of good reward. But I knew there had to be more than just that. And I guess we know now. Okay, you can go there. And then... I guess we can put these in here for now. And I was putting... Putting fodder in here. And remember to check our crops, because I don't know if I did. Okay, it looks like I did. Seeds in here. We plant our tree. Almost forgot about the tree, dude. That would have been embarrassing. We can just go up here. That's fun. And then I guess that's more or less it. Um, actually our inventory has a tendency of filling up when we go to the mine, but I'm gonna go to the mine, I think. And then maybe tomorrow we'll clear that other farm. Or actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go to the Earth Sprite Village. Because we just befriended all those new people, and we probably have some stuff waiting for us here anyways. Um, the spirit made you guys so happy. Late spirit is special, but the reason we're all happy is thanks to Boss Sprite. So we want to do our best and help Boss Sprite's dream come true. Boss Sprite's dream is to dance the Earth Sprite dance in front of everyone, but Boss Sprite has been so tired lately, it'd be hard for him to dance now. So we all have to make all the tiredness go away. We know how to do that, do you? Um, help Boss Sprite with his work? Help oh, Boss Sprite? We can do that. We'll help Boss Sprite with as many things as we can. Oh, but um, I don't know how much of a help we'll be. We've never tried this before. Lend us a hand. We'd all really appreciate it. Of course, my dude. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, manager. Okay, yeah. We have all kinds of stuff now. Well, we were working on trying to give you, like, max out the log one. I'm curious what, like, the journey... One will do, and the angler one, and the field one. <laughs> There's, I'm so confused about like what all of them would do. Honestly, it seems like they level up just over time. So maybe we should actually. Here, I'm gonna take ten away from you. Sorry, and then make sure they all have at least like one or two. Oh wait, okay, the stone one already has some. Field, so wait, one, two, three, four, five, and I have what? Eight, nine, 10, 11, so they each get two. And then one of them gets three. The journey one can have three. Sure. Then, do you guys have anything for me? We've got some grass, cool. Some iron ore and some stone. What do you give me though? I guess we just had to wait and see like what happens with it. So the sp Oh no, this is different. Okay, 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 okay. I thought these points were going to be the same as the points that we spent on like our upgrades i was like that kind of makes the shop pointless but no they're completely different horse tail huh. there's some stuff here that we can't get in game yet we can buy more grass here or not grass more glass here which i mean we do need some we don't need that many though. I'm just gonna buy five, I guess. And then, like the horse tail, some stuff whenever we sell it becomes available in town. So I'm tempted to buy 
some of the stuff that we haven't unlocked ourselves yet. Tough grass, supple log, lemon marigold, magic blue flower, and then I don't know if we've gotten green peppers or spinaches yet. Did we buy a mum? I think we bought a mum. Sure, whatever. Journey sprite. Hair sprite. Okay, you should have some stuff for us. We've given you the most stuff. Log sprite level up. Okay. So is it like every time I collect something from them, is that what makes them level up? I was hoping, honestly, that I'd get more from the log one since I'd given them the most helpers. But I guess it just doesn't work that way or something. All right, ship all of this stuff. Mum. Horsetail. Just to see if that unlocks any new stuff for us or not. And then... Turn you into glass. So what do we need the glass for again? <laughs> One of these machines need the glass. Not the dual maker. The essence maker. Okay, so we just need three iron or silver, silver. Essence maker. Flowers, bouquets, and fruits into essence. So we can use this for a few different things. I think the essence is just used for gifting. So we probably won't do much with this, but Kind of like the dye, right? Like, it's nice to have, I guess, but I don't think we'll actually be doing much with it. Can we sell the dye? It's actually worth a decent amount. Might be a way just to make money. Oh, it doesn't tell, much how, tell us how much the petunias are worth here. Um, sure, let's make some pink dye, just because... Then actually, since we're here, let's grab a petunia and get some floral essence from it. Just to have it. Have a good night, Rue. Thank you for coming and hanging out, man. I do appreciate you. Let's move you down to the bottom. I really wish there was a sort button inventory. Is there anything that's going in here? We have some grass. Uh, random junk. I think that's the middle one. Yes. Stone. Oh wait, no. We have one just for stone. Is it this one? This one. Plants. We don't have any. We do have wood. And then... Some more ore. Alright. And I probably should have taken this stuff to the house to free up some inventory space, but it's getting late now, so I just want to rush to the mine, because that's... Oh no! Fish! We said we were going to fish today! We'll mine tomorrow. It's fine. We don't need a... We don't need a mine anyways. I mean, new season, right? We haven't fished once since the season changed, and I, I have to imagine that new fish will be available. Oh, I kind of forgot how fishing worked. A dace. I'm pretty sure we've had a dace already. Wait, we can't fish over here? There we go. wonder if this counts as ocean or river. where we're at right now. Kind of like in between the two, so I don't know. A common squid? 
I feel like we've caught a common squid before. I didn't realize how late it Oh! I like, the, mm, not only two exclamation marks, but it also made a noise, which I don't remember doing before. So this could just be like another sparkly fish, or this could be something even better. Come on, give it to me. A salmon! Yeah, no, I think pretty sure that's new. Sucks that, like, <laughs> it's new, so we're gonna have to donate it. And I guess common squid will do, too, just because... I'm not positive. This stuff just goes in the fridge. Dace, though, we can definitely sell the dace. Dace, is, dace isn't new at all. I would love to get another salmon, man. I'm, I want to know how much they sell for. Okay, well, we've got another common squid. It's either unique to this season or we've caught it before then because it seems awfully common. And the crabs. Okay, so <laughs> so it hasn't changed much what's available to us. It's still still very much the same stuff. Sardine. I'm pretty sure we've gotten sardines before. Give me another salmon, dude. Let's go. Okay, we gotta be careful. Because even the white pulls like a lot of our our line thing down. Let's go, dude. Give me the salmon. Is that same better? It's the same, okay. Can I split and then put it here? Yeah, okay. Give us more salmon. That's got to sell for a lot of money, man. Oh, dude, come on. All the good luck. Let's go. I was just getting ready to say maybe we should try the ocean for more, like, variety and whatnot. Assuming this doesn't count as ocean, but, like, bro, if it wants to keep giving me salmon, I'm like, maybe we should just stay here. Now, which stack did that go into? The top one. Perfect. I figured it would go into, like, the highest one first, but you never know. Easy one. Okay, let's try the ocean. This ocean specifically down here. And I guess we'll collect anything we see on the way. I need to chop these trees and stuff here soon. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll collect the salt. And whatever these things are, I can't remember. Oysters. I don't know if it matters, like, which part of the beach we fish in or not. Ooh. Um, okay, I'm gonna forget if I don't do it now. How's this thing doing? Okay, it still has, still has energy. I was worried it would run out. Inventory space, we have one spot left open. Alright. Can we fish here? We can fish here. I didn't know if it would let us since, like, the water's so low. Maybe. Oh, this one's a lot harder than a lot of the other ones. You lied, by the way. Mortal Kombat 1 is getting bad shit crazy. I'm not surprised. Like, <laughs> it's a Mortal Kombat game. Like I said, whenever we were talking on uh, Discord, I... Ooh. That crayfish is, like, high quality, dude. Anyway, sorry. Sidetrack. Um, <laughs> I feel like Mortal Kombat is meant to be bad shit crazy, you know? It'd be weirder if it wasn't to me than, than hearing that it is. Uh, my inventory's full. I need to sell stuff first. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Pick that up. Okay, sell. Sell, sell. 
312. Okay, not as much as the sparkling boys, I don't think, but not bad either. I'm pretty sure we've caught a common squid before, but I guess I'll keep it out. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Make sure all the machines keep going. More salt. We could actually use um another condiment maker. What do we need to make that? Do we have it? I'm a little iffy about making another condiment maker just because I feel like then we're out of space, you know, and if we end up needing more space for something else, then it's going to be reorganization time again, and that was a whole pain in the ass and a half, but screw it. Used to be about the other realms, now we're gathering people from the realms from other universes? Hell yeah, dude. That's when you know shit's about to get good. <laughs> when you start traveling among the universes to collect people up. Uh, sure, whatever, grab all the rice. It's, it's fine. There we go, we can start making that now. Our first ball of yarn. And then... Get cat flowers for gifts. Everything else either goes in the house or gets sold, right? Or is going to the museum tomorrow. Which, to remind me to go to the museum, let's grab these things. This is going to be the last night for us. It is 3.30. My time. So hopefully, by grabbing this stuff, I'll remember what I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow. The next time we play. Which hopefully won't be too long from now. I do want to get back to playing the game regularly. And just streaming regularly and stuff. Although I still need to find a good schedule on like when to play this and when to play PS2 stuff, because I really do miss playing all the PS2 games. But yeah, it's 3.30, and if I don't stop now, I'll probably never stop. For as tired as I was, dude, like, spirit, uh, spirit. <laughs> huh! Um, Story of Seasons types games, and freaking, you know, Harvest Moon, and all that stuff. It's just like, hmm. Maybe this Friday that I'll play again? What, you mean next Friday? Because today's Friday, right? So what are you saying? Like, just every Friday? We could do. Um, also hoping eventually to get back to doing Sundays, but then there's also the whole, like, I need to play through the Bethesda games still that I started working on. So, like, yeah. If we do this game every Friday, then that means Saturday night I'm off. Sunday night, hopefully Bethesda games, if we get back into that. Monday night off. Tuesday night would be PS2 then, I guess. Wednesday would be a game that we're completing. Thursday would be a game with my brother. So that'd be one PS2 game a week. I mean, we could. It's just at that speed of playing one PS2 game a week, it would take, I've played, what, a couple hundred PS2 games? So that's 1,600 PS2 games. So that's 1,600 weeks. <laughs> like, you see my problem there? 1,600 weeks? That's, uh... It's not that I'm burnt out on them specifically so much as it is just, like, I really wanted to play some of these types of games, like cozy games. But that's that's 31 years <laughs> that it would take to try every PS2 game at doing one a week. The PS2 collection is just too large is the problem. Like, that's only 30 years. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's fine, you know? Now, what I need is for OptiJack to, like, sponsor me, you know? Just start paying me a grand a week, and then I'll be playing eight hours a day, at least. So we can just play, like two three ps2 games every day and then still have time to play other games problem solved dude aren't you making those like buku bucks yet why aren't you rich my guy i'm joking by the way 
<laughs> uh anyways thank you guys for coming and hanging out i'm i i am enjoying my time with story of seasons pioneers of all the town a lot and uh yeah i'm excited to play more i'm if i can figure out a way to play more than one ps2 game a week i would like to keep cozy games going as a regular thing because they're one of my favorite genres of games the story of seasons and stardew valleys and all of that stuff plus i really want to play through stardew valley again rune factory is a series i've always wanted to play but never got around to like there's so many cozy games that i just want to do so we'll figure something out somehow some way sooner or later but until then have a great night everybody thank you again for coming out i'll see you in a couple of days hopefully and uh yeah be kind to each other y'all but oh wait grocery stores expand its product lineup let's go we need to do the save and then i always have the habit of anytime i finish a day in one of these games i go and see like what's new on the farm is it gonna be a cutscene? no okay i feel like every time i freaking go to check we end up having a cutscene. are these done growing yet no my last freaking crop over here it's not done yet are any of my crops done yet i guess it at most, they've been growing for like five days, so I guess probably not. Yeah, no. It's nothing real fancy that we got to deal with tomorrow or anything. This banana tree or whatever it is grew up quick. I wish there was a good way to know exactly what kind of tree it is by looking at it, other than just being able to know. But I feel like maybe that's coconut and this is banana. They just look very similar, especially when they were small. But whatever. That's a problem for next time. <laughs> All right, actually this time. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Pro probably a strong word. If it weren't for that boss being glitched, I don't think I would quote unquote hate it. It's just, you know, that pissed me off. <laughs> Bruh, I've saved whole planets. What do you mean scraping the bottom of the barrel? I'm a hero. 